Hello everyone, welcome to Online Mass TV. Today we have another challenge on the board. The question is, your x to the power of x equal to 100. What that would be the possible value or values of x? Before going to today's challenge, if you're new here, this is Online Mass TV where we learn mathematics all the time. Without much waste of time, let's go straight to our challenge. We take our solution. Solution. Let's put down the question, which is x to the power of x equal to 100. Now, whenever you see a question of this kind, all you need to do is to look for a number that you can raise to itself, then now equate the exponents or the base. you get your answer straightforward. But if you look at the number on the right-hand side, which is 100, there is no number we can raise to itself to give us 100. And so what do we do? We apply a different approach to this question. Now, this is what I want to do here now. From here, let's take the ln of both sides. We can take log, okay? But I prefer using the natural log. So taking the ln of both sides, we're going to have this to be ln of your x to the power of x. This is equal to ln of your 100. Now, if you look at this, I can rewrite this 100 as 10 to the power of 2. Okay, so rewriting the right hand side, we're going to have ln of x to the power of x equal to ln of 10 to the power of 2. Easy. Now, if you recall the law of logarithm, which says that if you have your log p to the power of m, move this exponent backward to give us here yeah, m the log your p. Right? So if you look at this, we have a resemblance here. Yeah. So all we need to do is to move this exponent backward. And here we also have another exponent. Move it backward. So rewriting both sides, we're going to have here your x, ln of x equal to your 2, ln of 10. Simple. So at this point, if you look at this, there is no quantity or none of the quantity on the left hand side we're going to divide by to make x to stand on its own if we divide by ln of x we're still going to have it on this other side if we divide by x we're still going to have it on this other side so the best approach we can apply here is the product log okay which is what we call the lambert w function all right i've applied that lambert w function in solving so many challenges on this channel i'm going to leave links to some of this video in the description down below so that you can access some of this uh, video if we look at this now we want to rewrite this expression on the left hand side and which of that are we going to rewrite let's rewrite this okay so if we rewrite x this will give us your l ln of your x this, this x please ln of x dot your e to the power of ln of x which is equal to your 2 ln of 10. now if you look at this expression here everything we have in here is the same thing as x remember if we have your e to the power of ln of a star this is equal to what your star why because this is log base e so this this we leave Okay, so what we have here now is the same thing as this. Now, the base quantity and the exponent quantity, they are now the same. So we can bring in the Lambert W function. That is to say, we have our W bracket ln of x dot your e to the power of ln of x plus bracket equal to, we must equally apply that to this other side. So the Lambert W function of your 2 ln of 10. Okay? Close bracket. All right, let's continue on this side. From here, remember what the Lambert W function says. It says that if you have um, if you have a star, okay, then we now multiply by E all raised to a star, and we take the Lambert W function, this is going to give us a star. Okay? That is what this product log says. So if we apply that here, so long these these are the same, then we're going to end up having ln 
of x is equal to the Lambert W function of your two ln of 10 close bracket. Easy. Okay, so from here, what we do next, we are looking for x and we are having a natural log here. All we need to do is to rewrite this. So this is e to the power of ln of x. We must also do the same thing here. So we have e to the power of lambda w function of 2 ln of 10 close bracket. <laughs> Easy. So this, this leaves the system. So we are now left with x equal to your e to the power of the lambda w function of 2 ln of 10 close bracket. All right, so we can leave our answer in this format, but um, most of my viewers and my subscribers uh, question me how to get the numerical value uh, whenever we have expression of this kind, okay? And the video where uh, that question was asked uh, is showing up here, okay? You can watch that video and see where I actually stop the um, uh, equation or the expression, but here, yeah, all you need to do is to impute this into your Wolfram Mapper calculator. Okay, you can get it um, on your iOS or your Play Store. Okay, you get a soft copy of it. So all you need to do is this. Impute this into your Wolfram Mapper calculator. The answer you have, then take E raised to it and it will give you S. And if you do that with your Wolfram Mapper calculator, we're going to have your X equal to a three point um five nine seven the blah 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 and da, da, da. okay so this is the approximate value to our x if you impute this into uh this expression is going to give you 99.999 and some other fraction all right so this is the value of our x all right so this marks the end to this simple exponential equation if you learn something from this simple challenge give the video a thumbs up and if you're new here do not forget to subscribe again this is online math tv where we learn mathematics all the time new viewers are welcome and new subscribers are also welcome remember my name is jakes animal and i love you so much thanks for always be there bye for now